So I got in pretty late last night and uh, I thought this was a boat launch but uh, that's the road. I literally drove through it and just drove through a few trees to get in here but uh, yeah this is this is not the road. <laughs> I think it's just an old trucking road or log road. So Turned down camp, and I think uh, I think the boat launch is just a kilometer from where I turned off. So, pitter patter, let's get at her. Right. Oh my god. I can actually see this sign from where from where I turned down that crazy bush road. If I would have just drove two seconds. <laughs> well Owen will always be Owen. Off to a good start. My hooks are still there. But, uh, my trailer's over there. <laughs> Looked back, my trailer's gone. Because I fell off. <laughs> hooks at all. Chain snapped. I don't know how that came up. Oh. That's probably how busted. Alright, well, uh, holy shit, it's just covered in mud. Okay, well, um, uh, I think I'm gonna go find a spot to turn around and, uh, come back to her. Well, I made it. It was, uh, the roughest road I ever went down. But I don't know if this is where I was supposed to originally launch from. It says it's a Turtle Lake slash White Otter Lake Provincial Park. So hopefully my maps are good enough so I can place some of these islands. Or if one of these guys I run into them I can verify where the hell I am on the map. Yeah. Whew. Crazy. Oh, this is the life. Middle of the lake, no big deal. Paddling with the doggo. This is the way it should be. Well, I made it across this river, but I can't paddle the past, like past this current. And I'm stuck waiting. I'm gonna give it an hour and if it doesn't go away, I'm just going back. Like, this is ridiculous. I can't, I can't paddle. And then, I was just kind of shoved here to the rocks over here. Here. Oh. 
At least there's wild blueberries here. But kind of picked up the canoe and put it there. So I can't paddle past there. And it's literally like 100 meters is all I have to go against this. So like, I don't know if I should just hop in the water and walk it. But then I'm still fighting with this this weather, but I'm fighting it again. And like, anyways, it doesn't matter. It's just rid ridiculous. So it's pretty windy. I don't have any reception. But I did find this really sweet uh, camping site here. So the little winds, anyways. Take them as I can get them. This site here is flat. There's mushrooms growing. Actually, I think this is a bullet. It sure is. Ugh. We can cook this up for uh, for dinner. No, no, not a bullet. Oh, I lied. Not sure what it is, but it has gills, so I'm not gonna eat it. But maybe, maybe somebody else can tell me what this thing is. Thought I got excited there for a second. Probably straight up poison. Not a bullet. Come on, Dia. Frustrated me today, but you're, you're you're still a good girl. So yeah, there's like a little fire pit there. Needs more rocks. I'm just drying out my wallet because it got wet. Yeah, the this is all Canadian Shield here. This is a beautiful sight. Lots of red pines. Yeah, like if I got a whole slew of people here lots of room not much firewood though <laughs> it's all been used up but yeah little, little tiny fire pit here let's try not to wall it shallow water right off the cliff face there's a nice cliff face all the way around this one Beautiful. But I love the boreal forest and Canadian Shield. This here is in the Rainy River District. All right, let's get uh, let's get camp set up. So I found this little trail here. Just checking things out. And uh, yeah, somebody. Cleared out a little spot over here. It's kind of on an angle low. There's a fire pit over here. This one's actually pretty uh, pretty active. A whole table here. Fire pit. Even like a little boat launch thing over there. Somebody made. Somebody did quite a bit of work over here. So I won't have to forge for too much wood because somebody has a chainsaw. That wood over there. Yeah, it's a nice little pit here. Some uh, smaller stuff back there that I passed over. They got spare lumber so they can keep building onto their, uh, their bench, cook bench. So it's kind of nice because, uh, yeah, I can cook over here away from where I'll be sleeping. And uh, that way if I do attract any animals, they'll come over here and I can hang my food. I don't know. Well, there's a nice little branch over there. Over the water. So, probably hanging over there. So it doesn't really matter because I'll be attracting animals anyways. There's some funky mushrooms here. No idea what they are. There's something. So this here, I believe, is a king bolete, but it's half rotten already. But yeah, it's uh, it's massive. My whole hand fits on top of it. It's huge. I have like a uh, a five pound uh, mushroom burger. 
Clothes and real riddled with insects and rotting. <laughs> oh, there's all kinds of good goodies that you can find. Ooh. Nice little cap spot up here. Camp all over the place here. So it was five hours there, three hours back. So, and the current was against me coming back. So that, uh, that says quite a bit about uh, how the wind really affected me. Uh, so I got back, my tire seems okay. Doesn't mean that it's good, but it seems okay. And uh, yeah, so I got everything hooked up, ready to go and uh, going home. Unfortunately, I did not make it to White Otter Castle, but I do plan on going there sometime soon again. Uh, so it wasn't a total failure. I still had a good time, uh, even though I had some uh, trials to go through. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. And uh, I'll try to be diligent and ask as many of them as I can. Thanks. Take care and be safe.